Yo, what's up guys? Silverwing here back with another gotcha video for you guys. Now today we're on our universe server. So this one's got mostly my Ardor team that I built up. Um, now it's like an early game account, but uh, it's mostly used for, you know, draws and stuff like that. So we got ourselves 121 premium tickets, a free draw, and our mileage is almost full, plus 4,515 crystals. Now, I don't know if we're going to spend the crystals in this video, but um, as far as the legendaries go, this is uh, a different banner. So we got Uranus and Corel this time. So that's the ones we're going to be using or trying to get. Now, in our last video, we did get Ash, actually, uh, on our Korean server. So we don't know. Who knows what we're going to get on this one. But before we get started, uh, please leave a like, comment down below, and all that good stuff. And tell me how your draws are doing if you guys play this game or anything like that. Because mine's been pretty solid so far. And while we're going to do, we'll go ahead and get straight into this. So, redraw. I swear. Yeah, there's no good. I was about to say, if we get a legend off of that, we're just ending the video here. Because last time we got free Serestia draw off of that, 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 was, a, that was funny. But uh, let's finally get into our tickets and see what we can do here. We're definitely going to fill the meter. Like, that's not going to be a problem for us. That when we fill up the meter, I'm going to see if we if we want to go ahead and do uh, the six draw where you get six, you know, at a time. Or if we just want to do it one at a time because that seems to be the more optimal and the way to get the legendaries. Because with 4,000, uh, what do you call it? When your meter is full, you can get uh, six of the players, but they're going to be six start already, so they're going to be already special trained. But if you go ahead and just do the regular classic star draws, you can do eight of them, because it's 500 per mileage bar. So, I think I talked about that video before, but definitely that's going to be... I make sure I need, I need to make sure to check in to get this stuff. I've definitely been slacking a little bit, as you guys can please see. <laughs> On this universe server, I'm trying. I'm gonna try and get all of these on all my servers done. I'm usually pretty good at it, but uh, let's see here. Let's go back to our draws though. Oh, actually, no, no. We need to go and clear out. In fact, actually, hold on a minute. Let's go to the shop real quick. And where's the store? I do not mind expanding my lodgings here, so let's go ahead and do it. Let's do like. Expand our lodgings by a hundred. So let's use 170 crystals. I don't know how I might do that, especially since crystals are really easy to get in this game. And that's another thing, while, I'm here, while we're here talking about draws and crystals, do not worry about it. Like, in the early game, you will easily get a lot of crystals through just doing story mode or just any of the events prior. It's, just, it's really, really easy to get. Um, crystals in this game so do not buy any of the packs with the crystals or anything like that you can easily free to play this game it's not hard at all it'll take you longer maybe to get legends it depends on your luck because that's what it's based off of um unless you just buy the stuff but definitely um definitely save your crystals like i do like that's how i got all the crystals on here i kind of just kept getting them and just waiting until the weekend if there's players i want it then i'll do head and do draws if not then I'll just wait, and that's how I was able to save up all these premium tickets, which is another thing. They give out premium tickets a lot, which is how I'm able to save up all these premium tickets to do draws in the first place. But mostly, just focus, if you're playing a game like this, focus on building your team up and just getting through the game so that you can be able to get to, like, mid-game or end-game. Do not worry about doing draws a lot. You know, I know like, you probably see a lot of people doing gotchas, and you know, it looks really fun to do, and you want to be able to do it, but you can't because you don't have a lot of crystals or something like that. But the game gives you crystals a lot during a lot of different events. And if uh, you guys really want to, I can do a 2020 beginner's guide for soccer spirits. And yeah, well, I'll just go ahead and explain a lot. But uh, let's continue to do the draws here. I kind of like mostly do these draws so I can showcase to players who haven't played this game before, you know, kind of what the game is a little bit like. Um, not just through draws though, I like to do matches too. But, yeah, this game definitely really easy to play free to play. It's not like Summoner's War where it's like a four or five year grind and you still ain't getting nowhere so you decide to buy packs. 
anything. And I would know that because I'm playing Summoner's War right now. And I definitely have been tempted to buy some packs to try to speed up, like, just getting runes and stuff like that. And it's just crazy. And I think the difference between Summoner's War and Soldier Spirits definitely is, one, the meta. The meta's pretty still, from what I've seen in uh, Summoner's War. It's, like, all pretty much the same team, stuff like that. But when it comes to Soldier Spirits, um, it's a little bit different. Uh, definitely people make some pretty, you know, mono... There's definitely going to be a meta team out there. That everybody's gonna use. There's definitely gonna be that. But with soccer spirits, there's so many different players you can use and spirit stones and everything like that. And unlike summoners, where we have to be just focusing on speed and sometimes crit rate or whatever like that, or the rune's pretty much trash. Any and every spirit stone, at least four star and up, is usable in this game. One star and two star and three stars, you might as well sell those spirit stones away. Just get rid of them. And even the characters, like some of the useless characters in this game, like some of the characters that you think never would be good. Like people build them up and just make them to be amazing characters, like just really, really good. And it's just crazy what you can do in this game. But uh, we finally fill up the meter and we're going to go ahead and do the six spell. But like I said before, if you guys are beginners and you do fill up this meter somehow, um, Definitely just use the classic star draws. You can get eight of them in there. So if you do get like maybe a bunch of useless players that you're not using or really good ones, then you're gonna already have so most likely a good team that you can be able to use to get through the early game and again to the mid game stage. But well for ado, let's go ahead and see what we get here. Three classic stars and three new stars. Let's see. Alright, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, uh, no legend, but definitely this will be good for special training material if I already have them. So Veronica, I'm not going to be using her on this server, so she's going to be special training material. Graham, I might keep her, though I think I have her already, so she might be special material too. Tyler, he's definitely a decent player. Unfortunately, he got nerfed earlier on, so Rudell is definitely a better stealer for Kieran. Uh... I don't know what this character does, but I've definitely had her before on different servers. Okay, so she's definitely new, yeah. I think, what is she? She's a leader. And what's her skill? So strategy removes active type debuff effects down the allied team with an action. That's not bad. Uh, the only problem is that she'll have to activate her active for that to work. But that's not bad. Okay, so then we got also increasing defense by 20% and max HP by 25 within position. And then what else we got here? Decreasing penetration resistance by the enemies in the vertical line by 10% for 5 minutes of penetration through the enemy line. Okay. And last but not least, we got a selfish passive. So counter attack resistance and critical resistance by 50. Okay, that's not bad. Not amazing, but ooh, who's this? Oh, actually, I've seen this character before. She's a striker. Yeah, she is definitely a striker, and she's definitely. I've seen some very, really powerful, really, really powerful uh, versions of her. Let's see here. I think she's kind of like Beatrice, I think. Let's see, no, Beatrice is different. Never mind. Uh, attack power by 40, penetration by 20. Okay, not bad. Increasing damage up by dark, on dark players by 35. That's definitely good. Especially since Dark is really like the strongest in the meta right now. And then what else we got here? Steals target HP, HP by 5 and removes the active type debuff skill. Grants on the target whenever the damage is accumulated by the player or collision shots reach 3000. Okay. Oh, so this removes the buff. This removes buffs on the target. Whenever the target. Whenever the damage uh, accumulated from the player collision or shots reaches 3,000. That's not bad at all. No wonder she does so much damage. She removes debuffs. And then penetration power by 40. So she got penetration in her kit already. She got like, if you max this out, she's already got 60% penetration. And this keeps going, I think. I don't know if it, no, this doesn't stack. Never mind, it does not stack. It's not like... She's not a utility striker, but definitely she's a de pretty decent striker. And Severus, yeah, I've definitely gotten him before. I think I got him at the last gotcha that we did. And he's a leader, I think. Yeah, he's a leader. And yeah, his just removes active type debuff effects. Yada yada yada. 
increase critical damage resistance and incoming damage by 10 and 20 yada yada okay so not some not bad at all uh but our, our, our mileage has officially gone down back to normal but we're definitely going to continue to do some draws here and uh continue to fill up this meter so we can try and do another one again so and hopefully get a legendary that's the goal uh be able to get a legend here especially one that we can use i don't have jiho on this server yet so she'd be good i have nabby and i have ein i think on this one too i have nabby and ein on this one i'll definitely got show you guys the team that i've had on the server for um a little bit so that you guys can get a decent idea of what a team looks like but yeah uh no legendaries yet decent five stars that i'm seeing here but nothing crazy all right last premium ticket here and we got ourselves two five stars okay boring red all right, so we did pull up the first bar, so we got round five, we got 600 right now, so we could definitely do one of these if we wanted to, but we're not going to. We're gonna save our crystals, and I'm gonna show you guys the team that we have here. So definitely. Another thing is, if you're playing this game, make sure to do the achievement. The achievements can give you a lot of great rewards. But definitely, this is the team I've made so far on uh, pretty much a beginner's account. Uh, all my accounts, I think, except for my Galaxy one. My Galaxy one, I've definitely spent money on, but it hasn't been anything crazy. It was mostly, like, the daily stuff. Like, it'll give you a daily 20 crystals a day, or it'll give you a daily 400-something uh, gold a day. Just resources. Nothing crazy, though. But... Definitely, this is my beginner's account on the universe server, so no money spent here. These are all stuff I've drawn before. We got Bora as our striker, we got Nari, we got, you know, uh, Melissa. I think actually this Melissa we got from the event, so yeah, she's, 30, she's already 30 SPU. So definitely, when events go around where they have players, where you can power them like, completely like this, definitely do them, because you can get a really powerful passer or whatever for your team, and it's just really good. Uh, we got, you know, Yuri. She's really good. She got a lot of good passives here. Like, look at this. Spencer attack increasing the attack power by 35 in position. You know, mass HP and pass effect by 35 in position. Pass effect and counter attack resistance by 25. She looks like she needs to be in the front line. Jeez, she got a lot of pass effect. Like, dang. I might have to edit this team a little bit because she has a lot of pass effect and that could help out with this front line right here. And she's an attacker, so she could be used to wall some opponents. Uh, of course, we got our legendary Cherry Blossom Festival Navi as our passer mid lane. And she's holding the Tali on, so decreases infected 25. That and decreases, decreases inflicted damage by 25 when you have the ball and increases attack power by 60 when you're, you're getting attacked and everything like that. It's just, it's just really good. And of course, she got the Steel Stone and a little bit of Reflect damage, so, you know, just some decent stuff to keep her alive. Then, of course, we're running, you know, the tank herself, Victoria, so she's also running Battalion, so when people ram into her, she'll be doing the Reflect damage she needs to. Then our back line, we got Yuki, uh, really, really decent, so she's got Reflex and Attack Power with 70 when attacked, and we're also running Death Queen. So she's gonna be basically just trying to break out. So built for damage. And we also got Gabriel for HP. And she, of course, the same thing. He's trying to break out the back line as well. And then we're also running Secret Agent Elaine. Uh, she's not seven starred yet, but you know, she's kind of just there to keep the ball at the front line. Then our striker, Bora, she's just be able to just steal spirit for her opponent. So when she shoots, increasing career work. And it stacks too, so she's a utility striker. She stacks, so you know, increasing career rate by 25 and career damage by 20, so it accumulates five times. And then, um, you know, increasing attack by 40, reflex by 40. And then when she attacks, she steals 45%. Now she steals 45 spirit from the last active enemy and up to 25 action bar and five attack power yeah, that's five percent attack power for each enemy within the position with a shot, and it's just it's just really really good. And then we've also got critical rate by fifty percent, no penetration, but that's also why we're running this stone on her right now, 
Dragon's Burn, so we got Penetration Power by 25 and Crit Rate by 15 by Attack, we come it five times, so not bad at all. And then we've always got Dribble, Crit Rate, Action Speed, Crit Resistance, Penetration Power, not, just not bad stuff stats at all. Uh, I would go over this team more, but it's pretty standard stuff. Um, and this is, of course, like a fun account that I made, so definitely yeah like it can be done it can easily be done especially nowadays i'd say it was a lot harder to make a team like that uh back then but now it's super super easy it's not hard at all especially with all the stuff they give away like you saw it in the beginning they're just giving all of the stuff away and it's mostly kind of uh and they've got a lot of quality of life improvement stuff in here too you know, we got auto battle that can go up to the amount of edits t you have so uh this being well, let me show you like, I just love this game so much. It's just really, really good. Like, let's say I wanted to do a gold match. I want to grind for gold because that's one of the main currencies that you're going to be using in summers, in soccer space, not summer sport. <laughs> if you really wanted to, you could grind until you run out of ST, like 107 times, and it will do all 107 times until you run out of ST. It's just really, really good and a really good quality of life improvement because you can just have this game running and then do your homework, you know, go out and eat. And then, maybe not go out and eat, but, you know, just go in your kitchen, make yourself something, come back, and then, you know, once it's done, you can go ahead and do whatever you want. So, this game definitely has a lot of great quality of life improvements done to it. You know, it easily gives stuff away so that new players can be able to get into the game. You know, you won't just come in and then be already, like, the top person in here. Definitely not. There are pay-to-win guys in here, and, you know, that's their thing, you know, but definitely you can enjoy this game for you know just what it is it's just a really fun game to play on the side and for me it's something i like to show you guys on youtube so uh well for you i hope you guys enjoyed i'll definitely go more in depth with this game sometime later but for now this is going to be evolutionary EV sign off peace i hope you have a good day